it as a chance to try. Is it just me, or does the new movie Luca give massive gay vibes? <laughs> you serious? Yeah, Jonah, I'm serious. Luca is an upcoming film about two boys who befriend a girl and go on adventures together. On its surface, it looks like stereotypical Disney, but could the movie be an allegory for repressing one's sexuality? Well, let's take a look. I'm Very Barry. If you enjoy this content, like and share it with your friends. Also, don't forget to hit the sub and notification bell so you'll always see my latest content. Just to be clear, this is speculation based on how me and my girlfriend interpreted the scenes. In the trailer, the mermaids are meant to represent the people who have to hide or repress their sexuality. The opening sequence starts with Luca, having a hard time coming out of the water. He looks scared and afraid. The other mermaids warn him there will be consequences for going out into the open air. But Luca and his friend Alberto sneak into the human town nearby. Even though they look like humans, the narrative seems to constantly point them out from the other children, potentially highlighting the LGBT experience to some extent, especially if we think about the mermaids in the water. Sometimes repressing or hiding our feelings can feel like we are drowning, but the mermaids are normalized to hiding this part of themselves. To them, breathing underwater is second nature in a sense. Then we meet our final character, Julia. She defends the two before they are about to be bullied. They go to Julia's house. Her dad is very bigoted towards fish and mermaids. This scares Luca and he accidentally reveals his friend is a mermaid for a brief second. In a panic, he hides Alberto so that Julia's dad can't see his true form. Life is so much cooler than mine. This line is very important. Because of the mermaids do symbolize LGBT members, this phrase represents feelings of sadness because they can't live the same as someone who is heteronormative. Plus, Luca always seems to have uncomfortable expressions on his face whenever people are staring at him hard. The main character's fear is similar to many LGBT members. We can't be seen. We must not let them know who we really are. The one scene that to me seals the deal the most on it being an LGBT film is the Silencio Bruno scene. Alberto seems to be teaching Luca how to silence his inner saboteur. Instead of hiding his sexuality, his friends encourage him to be open about it. I love the galaxy scenes because I believe they are an expansion of perspective. Luca only thinks there is one way to live, to hide in fear from the humans, only showing what he perceives to be the acceptable parts of his personality. But his friends empower him enough to change how he sees reality. There is a disturbing scene, and it has some pretty dark implications. It seems like the local bullies go out to hunt Luca and Alberto, potentially signifying the outcomes of extreme bigotry. Well, this concludes my short breakdown of the trailer. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Could this really be Disney's first gay protagonist in a feature film? Or is this an example of a gay baiting trailer? I really hope it's not. It would mean the world to so many people if Disney could include more minority and LGBT representation in its films. So fins crossed. Thanks. Have a good one.